Hey everyone, Evan here with Baritone Studios, and today we're going to be taking a look at A Plague Tale Requiem's post credit scene and what it could mean for the franchise's future. Before we start, if you're enjoying our content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Baritone Studios or visit our social media in the description below. And as always with a video like this, there will be spoilers. Don't say I didn't warn you. For context, we'll start in Chapter 17, Legacy of Darun Family. This title already gives us a hint that the Darun family survives in some way following the death of Hugo. Whether it is through blood relatives like Amicia, or their literal legacy like in the title. A year after Hugo's death, Amicia has seemingly moved on. A new haircut suggests a clean, fresh start. Amicia sits and waits at her family's home for Sophia, where Sophia asks if she is ready. Ready for what? We don't know that yet. The way the two act, however, is that Amicia is going to be leaving her home to do something important. During their walk, Amicia explains that she has been working to keep herself busy. Eventually we learn that Amicia is on the hunt for the macula, trying to find the next carrier and protector, as well as the next eventual plague. She wants to set the foundation for them just as Aelia did for her. Before departing, however, Amicia tells Sophia that she, quote, has one last thing to do. Amicia travels to the summit of the mountain, reassuring herself that everything will be all right on this next part of the journey. Eventually, she makes it up there, where we see the grave that she has created for Hugo. Kneeling, Amicia talks to Hugo. And after some very moving words and tears, Amicia eventually says, May this earth remember how much you loved it. May it remember all you gave to protect it. remember. And I won't let it be forgotten. At this point, we can infer that the next game in the series, assuming there will be one, is Amicia tracking down the next carrier and protector and helping to protect them. That's the legacy that Amicia wants the Darun family to have. At this point with the credits playing, when I played the game, my mind was spinning, thinking about the plot. How long after Hugo's death would this game take place? Will their family line continue? What part in history and where will the next game be? However, I was not expecting what the post credit scene had in store next. Let's go ahead and watch it, and then I'll break it down for you. Whoa, okay. The first thing we hear is a ventilator. Immediately, all thoughts about the next game taking place right after Hugo's death, just thrown out the window. A ventilator, somebody walking on a hard floor, you know, presumably in a hospital, and writing on a clipboard. Gotta be a doctor. The arm's pudgy shape gives the assumption that it belongs to a baby or a small child. Eventually, with the camera panning up to the macula's distinguishable black veins on its arm. This game, and the franchise as a whole, could take place in modern times, the recent past, or even the near future. We're talking eight centuries of the macula being passed down. Is that the Darun legacy? I don't think so. There wasn't a lot of dialogue hints in Chapter 17 with Amicia. However, a lot of emphasis was placed on searching for the next carrier as well as protecting them. My guess is that this post credit scene gives us a look into either two different scenarios for the next game. The first, and the one I think is most likely, is that it is merely there to help with the plot of the third game, 
and the franchise as a whole. The legacy of the Darun family lives on way past the 13th century. The game still will have Amicia finding the next carrier and protector, but the post credit scene gives us the hard evidence that the carrier slash protector relationship continues to live on in the future. It can easily be said now that the franchise can move into modern times without any kind of non-canon material getting in the way. The other possible scenario is that it really does take place in a more modern time. I think this is less likely because it would be kind of a weak ending to a trilogy in my opinion, especially one as great as Innocence and Requiem, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it can't be pulled off. Maybe it's similar to the Amicia and Hugo story, but in a time we can more reasonably connect to. Instead of swords and slings, we have guns and other forms of technology. Maybe it's similar to Assassin's Creed in that we will play through different Darun family carrier and protector duos from throughout all of history. The only problem with this is that it would have to take place during a plague or a disease of some kind. Maybe the macula has evolved into not using rats anymore. Maybe it could be a virus or some other kind of animal or maybe even zombies. But that could open the possibility for a game in a unique point in history. The smallpox outbreak in the new world during the 16th century or the 1918 great influenza at any literally any point in the world or the COVID-19 pandemic. Mm. Anyway, that's all I got. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Will the next game in the Plague Tale franchise take place right after the Requiem, or will it be set in modern times? Once again, I'm Evan with Baritone Studios, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>